Commitments. This stage is the process, right? And the process is actually essential because the word argument does not refer to people disagreeing with each other at all, right? Why don't we adopt the concept of an argument being a list of well-reasoned assumptions and premises? Why not? Okay? So, rather than saying, I'm going to argue with somebody, no. How about we say, I'm going to give you a list of reasons, right? Or assumptions or experiences as to why I came to this conclusion about this subject matter. That's a better approach. Because the minute we hear argument, then part of our brain shuts off. And what happens is we become militant. I need to defend this no matter how ignorant or wrong it is. I need to prove this person that I'm right and they're wrong. It becomes a right and wrong situation, which means nobody is willing to give any ground. Which also means no one's going to benefit in any form of educational purposes in this exchange. Right? We all lose because we walk away with the same information we came in with. We didn't adopt anything new. We didn't embrace anything new. And therefore, guess what? I came in as I am. And I'm leaving the same way. I did not evolve. In fact, this debate or argument that you want to call it made me either the same person or worse than I, I was when I came in. Right? Because it's a waste of brain cells and energy. There's no benefit to me. I did not evolve. Right? There's no evolution process. So you have to factor that in. Right? Um, there are plenty uh, of fallacies, right? A fallacy is a belief or a conclusion that is reached through unsound logic. It's an argument that doesn't stand under any heavy scrutiny, right? It just wouldn't stand if I was to question it, right? So we have to avoid using fallacies in our arguments or debates, but understand that sometimes a fallacy can achieve outstanding results. Remember the old saying, even a broken clock is right twice in a day. So when you think about it like that, even though, right, my approach is of unsound logic, I may be right, depends on the scenario in which I use that fallacy. Right? So a broken clock should not be telling you time. Right? But yet, it's right at least twice in a day. And what that's telling you is, I could be wrong, but in a different setting, I'm also going to be right with the same logic that does not apply to this one. But it may apply in a different scenario. Right? So, be aware of that. A fallacy, you know... May not be accurate in some settings, but it definitely may work and benefit you in others. So don't disregard them, but be mindful of them. Okay? Then we also have logic. This is something that I find is missing quite a bit in today's society. Pardon me a second. Now, <clears throat> logic... <clears throat> is a word for structured thinking. If we are logical, we can replace a false premise or assumption with a, a valid one, right? So applying logical perspective to all the gathered information can change right, our entire vantage point on any situation. Being logical means you've taken everything into account it also means that you're being practical about the situation because being practical helps in a lot of situations right because you might have somebody telling you hey listen you need to have a budget and work that budget but then you're saying to yourself but i can't afford to save you know um fifty dollars every paycheck now you have a credit card bill payment that you make 
every paycheck. And that's, let's say, $200. But you can't afford to save $50 a paycheck. Because right now, you're living check to check, hand to mouth, right? But being practical, you can say, you know what? I won't worry about the budget now because I can't afford to save $50. But being practical, I can always say, wait a minute. That bill payment is going to be finished after two more payments. So if I finish those two payments, then I'm going to have an extra $200 that I can use. That's being logical. The budget may not be logical in the moment, but being practical about it and, and looking at my situation for what it is, being honest about it and being realistic about it, I can see that in the future, the budget may make sense because I will have that extra funds of $200 once this bill has been cleared, this debt has been cleared, right? So just being logical and practical, um, right, can be very, very beneficial. So you have to be open to how you process that information.